Ecclesiastes chapter 24 Wisdom shall praise herself and shall glory in the midst of her people. In the congregation of the Most High shall she open her mouth and triumph before his power. I came out of the mouth of the Most High and covered the earth as a cloud. I dwelt in high places and my throne is in a cloudy pillar. I alone come past the circuit of heaven and walk in the bottom of the deep in the waves of the sea, and in all the earth, and in every people and nation, I got a possession. With all this I sought rest, and in whose inheritance shall I abide? So the Creator of all things gave me a commandment, and he that made me cause my tabernacle to rest, and said, Let thy dwelling be in Jacob, and thy inheritance in Israel. He created me from the beginning before the world, and I shall never fail. In the holy tabernacle I serve before him and so was I established in Sinai. Likewise in the beloved city he gave me rest, and in Jerusalem was my power. And I took root in an honorable people, even in the portion of the Lord's inheritance. I was exalted like a cedar in Lebanon, and as a cypress tree upon the mountains of Hermon. I was exalted like a palm tree in Engadi, and as a rose plant in Jericho as a fair olive tree in a pleasant field, and grew up as a plain tree by the water. I gave a sweet smell like cinnamon and aspalathus, and I yielded a pleasant odor like the best mirror, as galbanum and onyx and sweet storax, and as the fume of frankincense in a tabernacle. As a turpentine tree, I stretch out my branches, and my branches are the branches of honor and grace. As the vine brought I forth pleasant of savor, and my flowers are the fruit of honor and riches. I am the mother of fair love, and fear, and knowledge, and holy hope. I therefore, being eternal, am given to all my children which are named of him. Come unto me, all ye that be desirous of me, and fill yourselves with my fruits. For my memorial is sweeter than honey, and my inheritance than the honeycomb. They that eat me shall yet be hungry, and they that drink me shall yet be thirsty. He that obeyeth me shall never be confounded, and they that work by me shall not be amiss. All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God, even the law which Moses commanded for inheritance unto the congregations of Jacob. Faint not to be strong in the Lord, that he may confirm you. Cleave unto him, for the Lord Almighty is God alone and beside him there is no other savior. He filleth all things with his wisdom, as fee saw in his tigris in the time of the new fruits. He maketh the understanding to abound like Euphrates and his Jordan in the time of the harvest. He maketh the doctrine of knowledge appear as the light, and as Dion in the time of vintage. The first man knew her not perfectly, no more shall the last find her out. For her thoughts are more than the sea, and her counsels profounder than the great deep. I also came out as a brook from a river, and as I can do it into a garden. I said, I will water my best garden, and will water abundantly my garden bed. And lo, my brook became a river, and my river became a sea. I will yet make doctrine to shine as the morning, and will send forth her light afar off. I will yet pour out doctrine as prophecy, and leave it to all ages forever. Behold that I have not labored for myself only, but for all them that seek wisdom.